a leader of science ahead of its time in Asia. Technological excellence alive in history. Science technology in Korean history. Here in Gyeongju, the ancient capital of the Shilla dynasty, is where Chomsongde is located, the oldest observatory in Asia. Shaped like a vase, using 27 levels of 30 centimeter thick stone slabs, set on a rectangular foundation, it is topped with two hat-like stones at the top, with a window-like hole in its center. This structure symbolizes the 12 months and 24 divisions of the year, according to the lunar calendar, with the top stone pointing exactly to north, south, east, and west. The people of ancient times would climb this observatory in order to watch the periodical movement of the stars, using the information they garnered in making a calendar and acquiring information about farming seasons and the weather. Chomsong Day reflects the most advanced science and architectural technology of its era. The world's first rain gauge, which measured the distribution of rain, was invented during the reign of Joseon's King Sejong the Great. The gauge was designed in order to counter the damage from flood and drought, which had wreaked havoc on Korean farms. The rain gauge consists of a cylinder, a stone base and a ruler to measure the collected rain. The rain was classified into eight different stages, depending on its amount and type. And this strategy is so scientific that it mirrors the way that rain is classified today. The bell of King Sondok is also known as the Emile bell because it is said to resemble the sound of a child calling out to its mother. This bell, which is said to make the most beautiful sound in the world, has been praised highly for the fact that it has not cracked and can still be rung even after 1200 years. The fact that such a massive amount of metal could be cast without the formation of air bubbles stands testament to the excellence of traditional Korean crafting technology. Also, the beat phenomenon is thought to be caused by a precisely measured difference in the thickness of the bell's top, the bottom, and its midsection. are often sought by those searching for enlightenment. Amongst them, Sokuram Grotto is the world's only artificial stone cave. The grotto, which took 40 years to construct, is a round stone chamber with a domed ceiling. Countless technologies were applied to the grotto. For example, a spring was placed below the floor in order to prevent the chamber from becoming humid. 
The high standards of science during this time can be witnessed by the fact that the grotto was constructed to face the sunrise on winter solstice. The Sakuram Grotto is a canon of Buddhist art, which combines science and aesthetics in perfect union. These scientific heritages are excellent examples of the great spirit of science and innovation, and the determination for technological excellence, which has always been a hallmark of the Korean people.